Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Uncle Tony 99 it's Tony. How are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to have a review and giveaway for you guys on the Monster Turbine Pro Gold Edition Professional In-Ear Speakers. These are some super nice headphones and these are not cheap. These are $400 available directly from Monster's website, monstercableproducts.com. Um, these were sent out to me for review by Monster. I would like to thank them very much for sending these out. And uh, stick around at the end of the video for the giveaway details. And uh, without further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, cool beans guys. Here we go with my review on the Monster Turbine Pro headphones, the gold edition. Um, I have already done an unboxing video on these, so we'll just zip through that really quick. Pull off the outside sleeve, and inside you have this nice black box, which is very nice. Very reminiscent of the Beats by Dre boxes that theirs is packaged in, which makes sense because they're made by Monster. Inside the box, there's a little pamphlet on the outside. Sound matters because the music matters from the head monster and then inside the package here you have the headphones as well as a very nice um, almost velvet carrying case with a magnetic closure um, little pocket in there for the headphones this is a really this, you know it seems like a really good protective case it does have a little pocket inside for putting extra tips or whatever in and uh, seems like a super nice case I didn't really use this one though because also included is this velvet pouch, which uh, this is the one I've been using to carry them around in with the snap closure on the top. Very secure. You almost have to put your finger in there to pop it open. It's quite secure. And uh, so you get those two little pouches for carrying them in, as well as the headphones themselves, which are right here. And then inside the rest of the box, just pull the headphones out. I seem to have made a jumbled mess of. There we go. Slide those out. And then inside the box included is a bunch of tips. You should not have a problem finding tips to fit your ears with all of the tips that Monster includes with these headphones. You get your standard round silicone tips. These work for a lot of people. They do not work for me never have, uh, they tend to fall out of my ears all the time. You, um, they also come installed with a pair of these super tips as well as an extra set of these super tips by Monster. Um, these are Monster's own kind of take on the silicone tips. These really don't work very well for me either. I have small shallow ear canals um, so I, I usually have trouble with in-ear buds trying to find a good fit. And uh, also included is these two pairs, one small and one large, of the triple flange silicone tips. I really like these. I use these small ones, and I have to tell you guys, these are the first tips I've ever used that did not fall out of my, uh, my ears. The triple flange, small ones, are the first ones that I've ever used that did not fall out of my ears. Um, they are really, really nice. I'm a big fan of these uh, triple flange tips. These are super nice. And uh, also included is the pair I have on the headphones right now. These are the Comply foam tips made by Comply. Um, they're not branded, labeled as Comply, but I was talking to Comply and uh, these are Comply foam tips. Um, I'm a big fan of these Comply foam uh, memory foam tips. I really like these. I'm going to have a review coming up on these also very soon so stick around for that one all right and then you also include your you know owner's manual and your quick start guide and your little brochure and your legal mumbo jumbo page and uh, a quarter inch adapter which is also gold plated uh, you know for plugging into amps or stereo equipment or whatever you get your quarter inch adapter which is a very nice quarter inch adapter as you can see it is also gold plated and uh, has the monster logo on it and is a very nice quarter inch adapter. 
So we'll move over onto the headphones. That's pretty much everything that's included in the package. And onward to the headphone. Okay, we'll start with the cable. The cable is a very nice cable. It's an angled L tip to plug into your device, which I personally really like. I think it's compatible with more devices. Um, some devices and music players have the plug in on the side or on the bottom, which means it's going to protrude. Not, not all devices have plugs on the top. So, you know, if it's on the side or something and you have a straight jack sticking out, it's going to be sticking out like this far, which might be a problem. You might be, you know, wonking on it and you're going to break your headphone jack. So I really like this, uh, this L-tip. The L-tip jack is very, very nice. I'm a big fan of that. And uh, the 3.5mm jack is, of course, gold-plated. The cable is a little bit thicker than standard cable. Not a lot. It's not, you know, super thick. But it is a bit thicker than, say, your standard Apple cable, as you can see. There's your standard Apple cable. There's your Monster cable. It's a little bit thicker. Not very much. It's not a nylon cable. It is rubber. And um, the way I've been carrying these, like I said, is in that little velvet pouch. And I just take them and wind them up like this around three fingers. Just wind them up like so. Take the, take the buds, slip them into the middle here, just like so, and then slide that into the velvet pouch. That's how I've been carrying them, and I haven't had a major issue with tangling. Um, they do tangle a little bit. If you just toss them into your pocket or something, they're going to tangle. But I would say they're more tangle resistant than, you know, a standard pair of headphones. Um, but, you know, they will tangle if you're not careful with them and carry them properly. To be perfectly honest with you, you probably shouldn't be throwing $400 pairs of headphones just into your pocket anyway. I mean, really, guys, come on. Going up here to the cable yoke, you do have the Monster logo on there, and that is also gold-plated by the looks of it, where it splits into the two left and right sides. These top cables are a little thinner than the bottom half of the cable, which is quite normal for headphones. Also not really an issue for tangling, if you carry them the way I've been carrying them. And then you get up here to the buds, and these are reinforced around the bottom, uh, around the plug-in area. They have some reinforcement around here. And uh, they are color-coded, left and right, blue for left, red for right, just like you know, most audiophile equipment is all color-coded. You're jacks and stuff for plugging into amplifiers and all that sort of thing is color-coded blue and red for left and right. Um, same thing with these headphones which is a nice nice touch. You don't have to look for the L and the R on the headphones. You just take a look at them. Oh, that's the blue stripe. Pop that one in your left ear. Pop this one in your right ear and you're good to go. Uh, getting a proper seal with these headphones is crucial to the sound. Um, if you don't get a good seal in your ear with these headphones, they are going to sound terrible. With a proper seal, these are phenomenal sounding headphones. I know you guys have been sitting here for eight minutes going, come on, Tone, how do they sound? Are you ready? They are really, really nice, well-balanced sounding headphones. Um, these are probably my favorite pair of buds, in, like earbuds that I have ever used. Um, they sound really, really good. The bass on these is there. It's not booming. It's not overpowering. It doesn't overpower the rest of the music, but it's there. It's enough for you to appreciate. And um, I do all of my earphone testing with my EQ on my iPod off. I want to hear how the headphones sound naturally. So, keeping that in mind, if you want more bass, you can certainly turn up your bass booster on your iPod or your EQ or whatever device you happen to be using to listen to music on, and you'll get plenty. Um, there's plenty of bass to be had with these. Um, the mids are warm and rich and very, very nice. Some of the nicest mids I have ever heard on a pair of headphones. The mids are also super clear. They're warm and rich and clear. Um, the vocals aren't distorted, or not, nothing's distorted, there's no distortion with these, even turned up to pretty high volumes, 
where it's almost uncomfortable to have them in your ear, for me anyway. I still couldn't really notice any distortion with these. These are very, very nice. And the highs are nice and sharp, crystal clear, really nice highs. Um, these are definitely one of the nicest pairs of earbuds that I have ever used. Um, I was super tempted to keep these. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. I really, really like these. Okay, cool beans, guys. There we go. That has pretty much been my review on the Monster Turbine Pro Gold Edition headphones. Would I purchase them? Would I pay $399.99 plus tax for these? That's really what it comes down to, isn't it? Are they worth the $400? Um, my answer to that is going to be yes and no. Um, if you're an audiophile and you're really serious about your music, you listen to a lot of music, you really appreciate the quality of music, you want the best pair of headphones that you can get, then yes, absolutely pick these up. They are phenomenal headphones, and in my opinion, they are worth the $400 asking price. Um, if you're more of a casual music listener, um, you know, you listen to music a little bit here and a little bit there, but you're not really serious about it you're probably going to be better off with a less expensive pair of headphones. Perhaps, you know, Ultimate Ears or they make some really nice headphones in the $100 to $150 range. Um, sure, maybe Bose or perhaps the regular Monster Turbines which will run you $179.99. You'll probably be better off with something like that. The difference between these and a $200 pair of headphones is noticeable to a serious music listener, um, an audiophile, if you will. To the average person, the difference between these and a $200 pair is subtle. Um, you may or may not really be able to tell the difference. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my review on the Monster Turbine Pro Gold Edition headphones. I did say at the start of this of this review that this is going to be a giveaway video, so here we go. How are you going to enter in on the giveaway? Um, leave a comment down below in the comment box and just say turbine dash your comment. Also, you have to be a subscriber to my videos. That goes without saying. It should go without saying by now, but yet somehow people still keep winning giveaways that aren't subscribed. I don't know why. So please, click, this, click the subscribe button comment turbine dash your comment down below and that's it you're good you're entered in to win a pair of monster turbine pro gold edition headphones this is the biggest giveaway i've ever had i would really like to thank monster again for sending these out to me for review and uh thank you guys for watching thank you for all your support and uh that wraps it up for today guys all right we'll see you next time rock on